Hello and welcome. So this video is kind of two things. It's a look at the um, Action Pro Action Replay 2 for the Super Nintendo and it's kind of a behind the scenes look at my recording, well current recording setup for Retro Systems. Um, so yes, as you can see here we have a TV. But behind that is my regular um, gaming TV which is a 46 inch Hitachi and in front we have a I think it's 20 I don't know it's a 22 inch um, but yeah it's a logic like I think that's like cheap brand from Tesco um, the key is that this TV is cheap and the reason is if you see we're on blue screen on the TV behind um, there's no nothing actually plugged into it but that is actually what it does um, when I route the Elgato Game Capture HD to it via HDMI with a retro console connected basically I will be able to see um, the footage in the capture software there um, but the screen will be blank so I have to run this cheap TV that supports resolutions low enough via HDMI um, to actually display because obviously there's so much lag there's a good three or four seconds lag with the Elgato like wait how long it takes to bring up that sky there yeah see what I mean um, so yeah the games are unplayable um, you know on on the actual computer monitor so that's the reason why I have to set up a shitty little TV in front of my regular TV and here is the Super Nintendo with the Action Replay 2. So I don't actually know what happens if you put a Super Famicom game straight into the Super Nintendo. Obviously this is a basically a Japanese Super Nintendo game. So we're going to put that straight in and see what happens. Does it come up with any sort of message for us or anything blowing does work if anybody tells you otherwise the lying so I'm guessing nothing happens if you put a um, region locked game in there so to speak so yes take that out put that to the side and we see here we have this setup here now what you have to do is plug a PAL game into the back of the action replay too so I'm just going to take that out because I don't know whether you can run this cartridge at all without a game in the back because it's basically using the PAL game for its you know security and region lock No, so about if we stick a cartridge in the top, does that act as a pass through or anything? Should point the camera at TV really. But no, it's still nothing, so the cartridge does work obviously because I just had it running. So I'm going to take this out again, put it back in the back there, right where it would help, and then plug that in, and that should work. not in the best condition this action replay too I must say okay let's try flicking the switch yeah there we go so flick the switch and that enables it um, obviously before the reason why it wasn't loading is was because it was basically like switching the um, SNES on without a cartridge installed because it's basically enabling and disabling the cartridge so you can turn cheats on and off um, during the game so 
what I will do now is right I've never really tried this before well I'm going to hit record on the capture so we do that and then we can have a little dabble round in here um, option screen um, so the trainer is where you will create cheats if you don't actually have a um, If you don't actually have any codes to put in, I've got an option screen here. That oh, was just in the op option screen. It says use NTSC cartridge or use PAL cartridge. Um, I'm guessing that is if you're doing it the other way around, trying to play PAL cartridges on a NTSC system. Um, Exit to parameters, so there, that will be where you put your codes in there. And start again. So I'm guessing that would actually run the game when you do that as well. So yeah, and stick the, the game in there. And press reset. Which is this Japanese Super Famicom game, and then you would exit the game there, and the game runs. So, if I actually toggle that off and reset, will that do anything? Yes, yeah, so we can actually play the games without going through the, the action replay menu, which is handy. Obviously, the reason mainly that I have this device is to play imports I'm not hugely bothered about actually cheating in games it's pretty pointless if you ask me so what I'm going to do now is uh, put another cartridge in this time it is Primal Rage and it is an American Super Nintendo game so it's the squarish type thing so I'm going to remove this one uh, I'm going to slap this in and we're going to have have a result or not oh, the cartridge probably isn't quite down properly there I haven't actually obviously tested um, this game before, this is the first time I've actually used the actual replay too, so... What about if I toggle the cartridge on this one? And grab with the pad. Uh, okay, um Take it all out, back in, a bit of a wiggle, put that back down, start it up. No, nothing. Oh, and there we go. Oh, the cartridge has come back on. What about if we go to exit to game? Is that going to work? Yep, there we go. We've got Primal Rage, the uh, NTSC um, Super Nintendo version. I do own this game on the Mega Drive also. Um, I would assume that the Super Nintendo game is supposed to have uh, better graphics. So, yeah. Um, there's no sound because um, the sound cables there aren't actually connected to the device yet. We'll be doing that for the gameplay video. But yeah, this is just a look, um, you know, at the action replay, pro action replay 2 by Daytel for the, the Super Nintendo. And that's your little setup there. You got your power game at the back plugged into your action replay, which is plugged into the Super Nintendo. And then you can put your import game um, on the top, so 
pretty cool um, and now obviously I can play games that are region locked that don't actually fit in physically fit in the console which is uh, cool and then obviously I can play the Japanese um, Super Famicom games there so yeah that was just a little um, kind of look at that and also an explanation of my little recording setup I have to get this TV out from under my bed to do um, you know the 16-bit systems um, and a bit of a ball ache but uh, I like doing my old videos so fuck it thumbs up subscribe all of that stuff if you like what you see you probably don't but uh, whatever and I'm just gonna finish off my cup of Mr. T and uh, then crack on with actually recording some uh, videos on these 16-bit import wonders <laughs>